Colonel Bo, tell us what it's like to be inside that shuttle going from ground to orbit in nine minutes. Well, it's truly amazing. It's, uh, it's a real kick of the pants as you're going uphill. You really feel the uh, acceleration, and you know, just uh, initially as you're on the solid rocket boosters, you get some uh, shaking, and then once you come off that SRB separation, uh, then you're on the uh, liquids only, and it's a great ride. And uh, hello, Atlanta. There's not much more to add to that. The ride was just amazing. Uh, the acceleration, like Colonel Bo mentioned, was just unbelievable. I had to, had to kind of envision what it might be like, but it was just way more than that. Um, and the power just kept building and building all the way until we hit uh, Miko at about eight and a half minutes. So it was, it was just an amazing ride. I sort of had the in-between view. Eric had the windows. Shane had the lockers. And all I saw was lights and then darkness. It was pretty amazing. Before I ask you a question about the mission and what's ahead for you, I'd like to know your first impressions of being in orbit, looking out over the Earth and looking out into the stars. Colonel Bo? Well, you know, actually one of the coolest things about being up in space is actually just the views and looking out. The, uh, the view of the Earth and the curvature of the Earth and the, the colors, for me, what's truly amazing is just how dramatic and bright they are. Uh, really exciting to look at. They almost don't look real when you see them. Uh, the stars, you really have to turn down the lights to see the stars, and we haven't done that yet to get a really good look, look, look. We've seen the moon, which is obviously looks the same on orbit as it does on the ground, but it's neat seeing that go through the view, field of view every 90 minutes. I was down on the mid-deck for launch, so my first impressions of uh, orbit and floating around were just uh, with Heidi and Sandy down there just kind of getting the mid-deck set up, and uh, it was just so cool just floating around and, and uh, laughing and just trying to get everything set up. We had a lot of work to do, but it was just obviously in a different environment, so we were trying to figure all that out, or I was anyway, and uh, it was just a great time. And uh, my first impression initially was we had some work to do, but when I finally looked out the window, the word wow was about all I had to think of. Colonel Bo, as the pilot, you just maneuvered a successful docking of the uh, uh, Endeavor with uh, the International Space Station. Tell us what was going through your mind as you were uh, maneuvering to uh, make that docking. Impressive, just watching the watching as we got closer and closer, and seeing the uh, structure get bigger and bigger. The RPM is really uh, that's the rendezvous pitch maneuver that we do on the uh, RVAR as we're coming up in the uh, underneath it, so they can take pictures of us. And it's quite impressive to watch, and it's extremely exciting to see the vehicles as they get closer and closer because uh, the space station is unbelievably huge. One last question, uh, Colonel Bo and Colonel Kimbrough. We've talked with some of your family members here in the Atlanta area. Colonel Bo, we've talked with your father, Jerry, and uh, Colonel Kimbrough, we've talked with your brother, Scott, and they both couldn't be prouder of both of you. What thoughts do you have of your families right now in the Atlanta area and across the country? about our uh, family members really appreciate all their support and coming down to launch they, they've you know sent us up emails and and uh, given us a lot of support as time gone on and we really appreciate everyone in atlanta and throughout the u.s and around the world that cheering us on with support and i'll just add a little bit to that it's great to hear from our uh, family members of course and uh, the launch was just a huge event it was like a big family reunion for us and i think most of most of the people that were launching the same deal so it was really neat to see them all come together and we Obviously, appreciate the support we're getting. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, all three of you. Godspeed to all three. Eric, let's begin with you. Uh, I know you know how many people want to be in your shoes, the pilot of a space shuttle, your dad included. Tell us, how is this a dream come true? This is a big dream 
come true. I've been thinking about this for a long time. I remember my uh, parents bringing me in when the Apollo landings were happening. Kind of my first impression when I was about five landing on the moon. So I've been thinking about this for a long time, and it's very cool to be up here and actually see it for real. Uh, it was, the docking was great. Uh, we passed such a shame. Now, Shane, uh, let me ask you a question, Shane Kimbrough. I, I understand that you're going to have a chance to do two spacewalks. Are, are you expecting that to be the highlight of your trip up there, and will you take some time to look around? Well, it's going to be tough to call that the highlight. Every, it seems like every day is another highlight, so I'm sure when I go out the door the first time, that's going to be the, you know, the, the biggest highlight so far, and hopefully every day will continue to be like that. Um, I hope we get a few minutes to look around. It's just been spectacular looking out the windows of the shuttle and the space station since we've been up here. Uh, looking back at the Earth has been amazing. So hopefully we'll have a few minutes uh, outside. Maybe when, when I'm on the end of the robotic arm, I can take a few minutes to peek down at the Earth and uh, get a few pictures. Steve, let me ask you, did your studies prepare you for what space is really like, or are you looking around saying, wow, this is truly a new frontier? I think we all have to say both. I mean, our training has really prepared us well for a lot of things, but there's just a lot of things you just have to experience, you know, being able to float. And uh, first-timers, it takes a little while to get your feet going and figuring out exactly where to, to put yourself to get things working. But uh, after a short period of time, you start picking up the little tricks, and it gets easier as time goes on. Uh, let me ask you this. There are kids at home watching who, like you when you were young, are dreaming of one day being in space. Uh, talk to them for a minute and, and tell them what they have to do to make the dream happen for them the way it's happened for you. Well, I know kids have a lot of dreams, and being an astronaut is one of them like I had, but there's many other dreams out there, too. And I would just tell all kids out there, whatever your dream is, uh, just keep Keep working at it. Don't ever give up and uh, persevere. That's what I think all of us have done to get to this point. Uh, we have a lot of hard work and dedication to uh, whatever mission we're doing and, uh, and a good education and just keep trying and uh, things will work out great like they have for us. All right. Well, Georgia is certainly proud of what you all are doing out there. It certainly has been an honor uh, talking to you and keep up the good work. It's uh it's quite a little delay up there. Thank you. Thank, thanks so much. It's so fun to talk to them so far away, knowing oh, wow. that they're, they're getting to see sunset and sunrise. Captain Bowen, good to see you. Tell good to hear your voice right as well. Uh, it was quite amazing, actually. The... Uh, Initial jolt off the pad, and then you just keep accelerating from there. Solid, bo solid rocket boosters tail off, the shaking alleviates, and then you start accelerating again. Eight and a half minutes later, it's all over, and you're uh, hanging your straps, wondering what just happened. And today, uh, I understand, is what some people are calling moving day up there. What's going on up there today? connected the uh, MPLM, which is basically a, a truck to the side of the space station, and as a matter of fact, if we look through the hatch, we can see them starting to get ready to enter into the MPLM to start bringing in all the equipment that's going to upgrade the International Space Station and uh, make it a home for sex. Kind of an extreme makeover uh, International Space Station edition. And you have uh, some spacewalks planned. Uh, can you tell us what what you plan for? Uh, what's planned for those spacewalks? Well, tomorrow, uh, Heidi Piper and I head out the door, and we uh, move a couple of large pieces of equipment back and forth from the shuttle into the space station, and then we start working on the starboard solar array. Uh, system trying to make it come back to life. We have a little cleaning and greasing to do, see if we can get it to rotate a little bit smoother. And most of our EVAs are geared toward that, 
Uh, the first three, if we get our work done then on the fourth EVA, uh, which Shane and I will go out on, uh, we'll be able to do some additional work as well. Excellent. I know a lot of people here in Boston and in Cohasset and down on the Cape are uh, watching the uh, the other Cape, are watching your uh, mission closely. Do you have any message that you want to send to them? My parents get that Cape thing confused all the time. When they say I'm going to the Cape, they think I'm coming home. But, uh, yeah, we really appreciate all the uh, support and um, I was thinking about heading back home whenever I can.